What do you pack when you're trying to stay warm for just a weekend away, but you don't want to take everything, or maybe you do want to take everything, but you can't, right? <laughs> That's the problem. My husband taught me early on, whatever you take, you carry. Yep. So <laughs> I don't take much anymore, right? <laughs> so joining us now to give us some advice on packing for an adventure or for a city trip is Mary Cicchini, the founder of Living Big Travel. <laughs> I love that name. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me back. Yeah, so this looks like it would be hard to pack. Yes, so uh, one classic Oregon weekend if you're heading up to Mount Hood. So what you've got a lot of technical gear, there's a lot of weather, and who knows what to expect. So um, I'm actually taking a group of women with Living Big up to Mount Hood on Saturday to go snowshoeing. So oh, here's awesome. a good example. Yeah. Okay. So there's where do lots you start? Of, where do you start? <laughs> exactly. Where the place you don't start is in your closet. Spend some time making a list when you're not in that frantic right oh, before I leave mode. There's a thought. That way you That's can like problem. really, exactly. <laughs> To everyone though you can really think through everything that you need like what are you going to need for layers or extra warmth or what are you going to put on after your snowshoeing trip so here's the thing is if you wait to do it when it's the last minute and you're standing mm -hmm. from your closet it's like going to the grocery store without a list when you're hungry like well, yeah, you come home with stuff like you don't everything. need and you forget the things you need so <laughs> make a list plan in advance and okay. actually an added tip i got for my sister-in-law who has a little son is like make the list once and just save it you don't need to like reinvent the wheel every time oh, so if you have an annual trip saver. to the mountain mm -hmm. you know you're going to need so many bottles, so many blankets, just keep it all in right. handy. And all of this will fit because you're layering. You're layering, yep. So for me, I always have like my, when I'm snowshoeing, I have a backpack with the gear and supplies, you know, such as hand warmers, extra gloves, mm -hmm. extra socks, Sunglasses, first aid kit. Sunglasses, which you don't think that you need, you in, need the snow. in the snow. You need in the snow for mm -hmm. sure. And then I always have a bag in the car when I'm snowshoeing, because that's when you want to put on dry socks, extra layers. Maybe you're ready to take your boots off. Mm -hmm. So keep the bag in the car too. What's the key though to minimizing? Because when I do go and start grabbing everything, I think I need six pairs yes. of pajamas. I'm not and sure what four, I need. Yeah, totally. and you don't know or you over grab. So what's, what do you do? Well, when I'm going on like a weekend trip, let's say I'm going to San Francisco or let's maybe just Seattle. Let's go to San Francisco. It's so it's let's a great go city. for the weekend. You know, I have a lot of friends there and we don't always know in advance what we're going to be doing. Sure. So one of the things that I do to prevent that moment of mm -hmm. having like everything in the bag is I try to find a couple base outfits. So today okay. I'm wearing jeans and a black tank top. Now, if, if this is, I consider a base outfit, yes. but you can always layer it up. You can accessorize it up to change it so that you have at your fingertips everything you might need such as I could put on a leather jacket and some fancy heels oh, and a necklace oh, and, you and I'm ready to go out. Yeah. Jeans and black top, but still good to go. And that gets us to, this is kind of for the city pack. Totally so, for and city. And of course heels take up a lot yeah, of room. Yeah. You gotta have your heels. Well, yeah, and if it's a, so if it's a weekend, you, know, you can get away with a small bag, but you have to pack smart. So mm -hmm. sometimes you can still have flexibility and options, but you just have to be thoughtful about it. So going with a base layer, you can dress up and dress down is a great tool. So going out for the evening. If you're going to a museum, hang around the city, I can throw on some booties and a scarf on top of my jeans and my black shirt and I'm good to go. If I'm going to a ball game or hanging out at a pub, I can just throw on a hat and some Converse with my jeans and black top and I'm good to go. So give yourself a couple base layers, have some flexibility and, and hopefully you won't overpack. You I'll know, you, you, yeah, well, it's probably still going to happen, but I like your <laughs> advice. So you were talking about some fun weekend trips. You're doing kind of day trips with women. I am. So Living Big Travel is a women's company I've had going on five years now. Wow. And for, so for those years, we've been taking women on trips all over the world throughout the United States, but we're starting a new program where people and excuse me, women can have that same sense of adventure, but here in their backyard. So Which is so great because not everybody yes. can get away for a big right. vacation. Totally, totally get it. And sometimes it's nice to just have a partner to like figure out all the logistics of like, how do I get to the mountain and where do I go mm -hmm. and what do I pack sure. and where? So we take care of all that work. So this Saturday we have a snowshoeing event. That's our first event. We're also partnering with a local restaurant, XLB, on a beautiful like bun making class. That's right around Mother's oh, Day. Fun. And later in the summer, we're taking a group of women out to uh, the Columbia Gorge and it'll be like the classic day in the gorge. So cherry picking, swimming holes, hiking, oh, all the above. Classic. And you have yep. some spots this weekend, you said. So where do people I go do. for yep. that so trip? I do, yeah, so actually you can go online to my website. It's living org. Click on Adventure Club, which is the name of the local program, and you can sign up for all those events. Awesome. How about McMinnville? Yeah. I love McMinnville. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite uh, local weekend <laughs> trips. So I can go, um, I can go wine tasting. You can go to local restaurants, um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff out there you can do. Well, so Mary, thank you, Founder Living Big Travel. Yes. McMinnville is a quick, easy jaunt out. It so is down so the road quick. And 